Cardio oncology is one of those very new fields which are very exciting now in cardiology. It really started about four or five years ago that we started to recognize that a lot of the patients that we were treating with chemotherapeutic drugs and radiation essentially ended up having other problems besides their primary cancer. The different chemotherapy agents can cause different changes to the heart. Some of the changes occur right away and are reversible. Others occur over time. Deleterious effects on the lining of the heart, the muscle of the heart, the lining of the vascular system. We are trying to prevent poor outcomes. We are trying to prevent the cardiac disease. We are trying to prevent the hypertensive episodes or hospitalizations because of heart failure. It becomes imperative that we screen these patients up front for their own risk factors and try to improve their medical management prior to starting treatment. We go through what kind of cancer they have, what kind of treatment they're going to receive. A lot of these patients will end up getting an ultrasound of their heart to begin with in order to make sure that the function of their heart is normal before they even start treatment. And if it is not, then we have a discussion, an in-depth discussion about the risks of the treatment and how we can reduce that risk. By starting treatment for the heart early, we can uh, reduce or minimize any damage to the heart from the cancer treatment. Having both a cardiologist and a medical oncologist follow you all the way into the survival period has reduced adverse effects of the medication and early recognition of possible cardiovascular events. The easiest thing to do is to talk to your oncologist or your primary care provider to find out if you are a good candidate to be referred to our program.